log off, shut down, and get outside at Indian Creek Metro Parks, Oxford Riley Road area. Hi and welcome. My name is Becky Vanderpool. I'm the Senior Manager of Park Connections with Metro Parks of Butler County. I'm glad you're joining us today. Today we're coming to you from the Indian Creek Metro Parks Oxford Riley Road entrance. We're here for our Creaking in the Parks program. And I'm Lynn White. I'm the Education and Volunteer Specialist for Butler Soil and Water Conservation District. And this is one of my favorite creeks to go to when we go out looking for the creatures that live underwater. So join us down at the creek. Come on, let's go. So it's been a few weeks since we've talked about creek safety, but now that we're here at Indian Creek today, and you can see that the water is a little bit deeper and running more than it certainly was last week at Forest Run, I think it's important again to share information about creek safety. When you come creaking, make sure that you wear the proper shoes and that making sure that your shoes are covered and that's something that will hold your shoes under your ankles. So old tennis shoes, rain boots, water shoes like I have on today, um, anything like that that will help and protect your feet. Also, because the area here where we're standing in, there are some areas that are very, very shallow and some areas that are much more deep. Please be careful that you keep little ones close, have a, have a good footing while you walk by, um, and also just again, be aware of your surroundings. Another safety tip that would be really important when you're in the creek is to take just small baby steps. Take a close look at the ground when you're walking. Make sure you're going to step on rocks that are stable and not wobbly. And just take the small steps so that you're not going to slip on the moss growing on the rocks or the sand or dirt in the bottom of the creek. So okay. there's a bunch of different habitats here at Indian Creek where you might find different animals. And one is where we've got these overhanging plants around the edge. So I'm just going to use my net and scrape up the plants and see if we find anything. There's a few tiny things in there moving around, but nothing that great. Let's try somewhere else. So this is another great area of habitat, especially for fish, but be really careful around down trees. And it's really not a good idea to climb on top of them because you don't know how rotten they can be. So look near them, but don't get too close. So ripples are a really great area to look for animals. That's where the water is tumbling over the rocks because there's a lot more oxygen there. So let me see if we can find anything. This is actually really good. So these little tiny animals that are crawling around are caddisfly larvae. And this is something that they stuck to this huge rock. They make silk like a spider and they use it to glue these things on there. And if this was in the water, a little tiny fishing net would be hanging down from it and they use that to catch dead stuff that floats downstream. So these are caddisfly larvae. And there's another big lump here that they've built. Oh my goodness, those they're are big. all over this rock. I think the ones we saw in a previous episode were much, much tinier than yeah. that. Those are very cool. So caddisflies go through metamorphosis just like a butterfly. They're actually cousins to butterflies. So is that a caddisfly? Yep. It's kind of cool. I really like the green body and the black head. I was just going to say, I'm not sure how much we can see on the camera, but certainly he's definitely got some black and green on him. So I'm going to put the rock down because it's getting really heavy. <laughs> this spiky creature is a Dobson fly larva or a Helgramite. Now it's best to keep your fingers away from its head because it's got really strong pincers and its bites can hurt. This brightly colored little creature is a stonefly. There's nine different families of them in Ohio, but they all look slightly different because of their coloring. Some are brown, some are yellow and brown striped, but the one thing that they all have in common is that they are intolerant of pollution. So thank you for joining us in the creek today here at Indian Creek Metro Park. We hope you've enjoyed your time with us and we hope that you'll come back out on your own and explore, see what you can find. If you find things other than what we did today, please share with us so that we can share with others as well. And remember, anytime you find a creature here in the park, leave it here because this is their home. Follow both of our websites for other ways to enjoy the outdoors, including when we explore the creek at Governor Bev Metro Park next Thursday. Thank you. Hope to see you then. Bye. Come back tomorrow for this week's Family Fun Friday. Hope to see you then.